Good evening, everyone. Today is Tuesday, June 14, 2016, at 7 p.m. Council as a whole committee meeting is called to order. Present from Council are Mike Zurn, John Myers, Kim Evers, Jason Kasunik, Dave Spotton, Ken Hayfley, our police chief, Larry Reich is here. Our mayor, Dennis Morley, is present. Chief Whittington and Dave Men are absent and excused, as is Mr. Rick Pitino. We have our city engineer, Tom Goyer, and our finance director, Carol Ann Schindel, and our law director, Lynn Van, are all present. Um, there is no legislation proposed. There is no legislation pending. Under miscellaneous, we have an ordinance to revise the cut by ordinance by adopting the current replacement pages. This is kind of a housekeeping, housekeeping issue, and we will um, make a motion to add that this evening will be legislation 614.01. Uh, next is a resolution to enter into a contract with A&J Cement Contractors for the lowest and best bidder for the Ridgewood Drive pavement improvements. We will also make a motion to add that to this evening's agenda. It will be legislation number 06-1402. Mr. Boyer, did you want to talk about that or Mr. Mayor? I can. Okay. Um, there was a bid of $569,740 for Ridgewood Drive improvements. The city received a $327,100 grant from the OPWC. This legislation paves the way for the mayor to sign off on the contract as of July 1st when the funds are covered. Thank you. Uh, next is a resolution grant permission from the City of East Lake to the City of Willoughby to extend funds from the W. Will be East Lake WPCC replacement fund account for the WE WPCC equalization based and rehabilitation sewer project. We've had numerous meetings on this in discussion. We will need a motion to add it to this evening's agenda and will be added as legislation number 06 There's a resolution to file an application for funds through the Competitive Community Development Block Grant for the purchase of a rescue squad. Um, we will need a motion to add this this evening. It will be considered legislation number 06-1404. In the absence of the fire chief, Mayor, did you want to address this? Um, I had a meeting with Reed Benton, which is the Black Grant Coordinator for the county, a few weeks ago. Uh, we were going over our, uh, our other application we handed in from the last meeting, and she said there was some funding available for safety equipment, so we are looking, um, we handed in a Block grant to try for $230,000 for a new squad. Um, obviously, it's not a for sure. We should know something in July. And we're going with Carol Ann and the Chief. We need to get the squad, whether we get this or not. So, um, this just brought this up to, um, to speed on that. The, the, the money was out there, so that's why we applied. And then, uh, if we do not get it, we're going to look into trying to get it. They had the vehicle here. I had uh, Rio was here from the county, and I looked Carol Ann and I. Squad, so but just cross fingers and hope yep. that we can get this, we can get it from the county. Okay, thank you, Mayor. All right, next is ordinance to amend section 1385.99 of the codified ordinances, and also another ordinance to amend section 1387.199, specifically said subsection B of the codified ordinances. These will be added this evening as legislation number 06-1405 and 06-1406. Mr. Clam, do you want to discuss these two items? Yeah, I did think, I thought Mr. Mann would be here, so I don't know if you'll want to wait and comment from him, but the, the back story is to talk to the mayor about it when we enforce, um, when we enforce building code violations or property maintenance violations. If it's a misdemeanor in the first degree, people are automatically entitled to an attorney at the cost of the city. So in light of the city's economic condition, that becomes a barrier to criminal enforcement, which it shouldn't be, it becomes a practical reality. So if it was a minor misdemeanor, it wouldn't be entitled to so the, the strategy there was to amend it to a minor misdemeanor, making it a lesser offense, um, but eliminate that cost to the city. But you're making a judgment call that you're making it a lesser offense as well. So I can move forward and answer any questions. If you want to wait for Dave to get his input, that's fine too. I don't know that it's any. Um, you know, real I'll just pull counsel based on that. Is there any? I thought Dave was. The, do, do you want Dave to have an opportunity? We can. We can. We can hold it off for another meeting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we'll just hold it off to, for two weeks. And okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you? Yes, sir. Do you want to just put it in the meeting first reading? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, so true. Oh. So you can hold it. What do you, I'm going to think you can put it on the agenda. You can do it in miscellaneous and put it on next time. Yeah. Good call. Lots of options. Okay. Good call. 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 Good call.
that uh, concludes the Council of Health Committee meeting at 705. We're moving to our regular council meeting it's Tuesday, June 14, 2016 at 7 p.m. Will Mr. Evers please relieve us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. by not only City Council, but by members of the public. So with that, um, this meeting is called to order. Uh, will the please call roll? Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Stodden? Yeah. Mr. Kosunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Hafley? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of the regular council meeting of May 24, 2016? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Will the please call roll? Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Spatton? Yes. Mr. Kosunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Hatefully? Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Minutes are approved. Next is the President's Report. The next scheduled Council to Hold Committee meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, June 28th at 7 p.m. For the regular Council meeting immediately following the adjournment of the Council as a whole committee meeting. Um, I really don't have anything to report. I think other people are going to cover certain topics, so I'll let that stand. With that, we'll move on to communications and petitions. Will the clerk please read communications and petitions? A communication from the Walter Drain Company regarding the May 2016 codified ordinances replacement pages. This was discussed in Council as a whole committee and will be added to this evening's agenda. A communication from City Engineer Guider to enter into a contract with A and J cement contractors as the, as the lowest and best bidder for the Ridgewood Drive pavements improvement. This was discussed in Council as a whole committee and will be added to the evening's agenda. A communication from City Engineer Goiter granting permission from the City of Eastlake to the City of Willoughby to expend funds for the implementation of the WDWPCC Equalization Basin Rehabilitation Sewer Project. This was discussed in Council as a whole committee and will be added to the evening's agenda. A communication from Finance Director Schindel to file an application for funds from the Competitive Community Development Block Grant Program for a rescue squad. This is discussed in Council as a whole committee and will be added to the evening's agenda. A communication from Law Director Clammer to amend Section 1385.99 of the Codified Ordinances. This was discussed in Council as a whole committee and will be added to this evening's agenda and placed on first reading. A communication from Law Director Clammer to amend Section 1387.99, specifically subsection B of the codified ordinances. This was also discussed in Council as a whole committee, will be added to this evening's agenda, agenda and placed on first reading. With that, we'll move into committee reports. An ordinance committee meeting was held, so I will turn it over to Mr. Hinkley, the chairman. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, the ordinance committee did meet last Tuesday, June 7th. Uh, members from the committee were myself, Mr. Myers, and Mr. Spotton. President from Council were Mr. Zern, Mr. Kosunik, and Mr. Evers. Council President from Lord Pledge was absent and excused. From the administration, we had Mayor Morley and CBO Dave Mem. We had one item on the agenda, and it was to discuss a deer calling program. Uh, we had a resident uh, that the mayor's been working with. His name was uh, Mr. Bogler, Todd Bogler. Yes, sir. And he presented uh, some information. Uh, the meeting that we held was our second meeting, and it was for information and information only. Uh, we were not voting on anything. We're still doing a lot of research into this topic. Um, a lot of the information was we were questioning the deer population in East Lake if the study's been done, uh, the number of accidents that were deer related, um, issues as far as the call in program, what kind of method they would use, nuisance issues. Uh, any of the neighboring cities, if any of them have any kind of programs, the only one locally around here is the city of Menor, uh, which their, their cost is roughly about $100,000 a year to operate their program. Uh, and then we're looking at the amount of acreage you would need and the distance from property lines. And uh, Mr. Volker presented some information to us on 
other than that, I believe that was everything we talked about. And so we kept it in committee, and we're still waiting for some additional information. Uh, anybody else in the committee or council? Uh, was there anything I missed or anything else? In, yeah. Other than that, that's what we discussed, and so we kept it in committee. Um, I'd also like to um, discuss there's also a community, it's called Me Yaza Fundraiser. Uh, Eastlake Community Caps. It's this Saturday, June 18th, from 7 to 10 p.m. It's at Two Bucks in Eastlake. Uh, $30 ticket includes a buffet, open bar, drug prize, and various raffles, and etc. Uh, I also have a motion. suspension of the last meeting in July 2016 and the first meeting in August 2016 for the summer break and I so move. Uh, is there a second? Second. The clerk please call the roll. Mr. Hankley? Yay. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Spotton? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. The motion is uh, carried and adopted and City Council will be on break for the last meeting in July and the first meeting I do. I hereby move to add legislation number 06-1401 to this evening's agenda. In order to revise the codified ordinances by adopting the current replacement pages, is so moved. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Ever? <coughs> yes. Mr. Hayfley? Yay. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation 06-1401 is added to this evening's agenda. Is there a motion to add legislation 06-1402 to this evening's agenda? I hereby move to add legislation number 06-1402 to this evening's agenda. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and the director of finance to enter into a contract with A and J cement contractors, the most reasonable and lowest and best bidder for the base bid for the Ridgewood Drive pavement improvements in the total amount of five hundred sixty-nine thousand seven hundred forty dollars. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hayfley? Yay. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation 061402 is added to this evening's agenda. Is there a motion to add legislation number 061403 to this evening's agenda? Yes, sir. Okay, would you please go for it? Here, I move to add legislation number 06 14 to this evening's agenda. A resolution granting permission from the City of East Lake to the City of Willoughby to extend funds in the amount of two million one hundred and thirty eight thousand one hundred and thirty five dollars eighty five dollars for, for implementation of the WEWTCC equalization basin rehabilitation sewer project. That's so moved. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hinkley? Yay. Mr. Pledge? <coughs> yes. Motion carried. Legislation 06-1403 is added to this evening's agenda. Is there a motion to add legislation 06-1404 to this evening's agenda? I have a motion. Go ahead, please. I hereby move to add legislation number 06-1404 to this evening's agenda. A resolution authorizing the mayor Director of Finance to file an application with the Lake County Planning Commission for funds through the Competitive Community Development Block Grant Program for the term of October 1st, 2016 through September 30th, 2017. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Hayfley? Yes. Mr. Clark? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation 061404 is added to this evening's agenda. The next 
two items are going to be placed on first reading. They are um, uh, legislation number 061405, uh, the ordinance amending the city, like ordinance section 1385.99, and also legislation 061406. amending East Lake Ordinance 1387.99. So these um, are placed on first reading, and we will raise them again at the next meeting when our billing inspector is here. And with that, um, we will move on to recognition of the public. It is one half hour, three minutes per person. I remind speakers that all remarks will be directed to the chair and will not involve personalities. There are, let's see, the first person signed up to speak this evening is Mary Hawkins. Will you please step forward and state your name and your address? Good evening and thank you. My name is Mary Hawkins. I live at 378 11 Lakeshore Boulevard in East Lake. Go ahead, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. My three minutes are up. <laughs> Um, for full disclosure, I must state that my husband is Judd Hawkins. He's the prosecutor for the city of Eastlake. I am not here tonight representing him. Um, Judd and I also are the founders of the Eastlake Lacrosse Club, which after nine years has been recognized and um, is going to be part of the Eastlake Lacrosse Club for 2017. I am not here representing the Lacrosse Club tonight either. I am here representing Mary Hawkins and Mary Hawkins neighbors. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, I have been an East Lake resident for 50 plus years. My parents bought a house on Lakeshore Boulevard in East Lake when I was two and owned it for 25 years. When my husband asked me to marry him, he jokingly said, Hey, I bought this little cottage. It's on Lakeshore Boulevard in East Lake. How do you feel about living on the lake? I burst out laughing. I said, Honey, that's going home. And that's what it has been. It's our home, our single family home. We purposely live in a community of single family homes. We took that little cottage and through blood, sweat and tears and a whole lot of money, we did a tear down rebuild and we have a beautiful home today. We were the first of three neighbors that did a tear down <coughs> rebuild and converted little cottages or pieces of dirt because little cottages have fallen into the lake, into beautiful homes. Homes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars each. Um, one of our neighbors is here tonight, and I will let you tell, let her to say more about her home, but I must um, add my own knowledge about her home. I've been there a long time. Where she lives now, there was a home, and then there was a garage apartment. The home had to be demolished because it was literally falling in the lake. So when she bought it, there was a garage apartment. The city of Eastlake absolutely positively did not let her build a home where a home had been because it's single family residence. She spent tens of thousands of dollars to attach the garage apartment to her new, beautiful, very expensive home. She never has rented out her garage apartment because we're sold single family home. She's had some house guests live there for a week or two in the summer because they live in Florida, but it is not a rental income for her and has never been a rental income. It has come to our um, knowledge that the home on the other side of her is a rental income. There are three um, gas meters there are three electric meters. There is someone who lives in a building that I literally can refer to as a shed in the lake yard. The other person, I believe, but don't know for sure, lives in the attic. And the reason that I am here tonight asking you as city council, you as mayor, and everybody in this room is I need help, and the neighbors need help, because this home, single family home was purchased in March of this year by a business establishment. Quality Rentals of Cleveland now owns the residence, the single family residence, at 378-25 Lakeshore Boulevard. 
this past weekend, they rented it out, not the shed and not the unit over the garage, the attic unit, because they're already rented to two other distinct people. They rented it out to, I don't know, roughly 20 people for the weekend. I'm sorry, it's unacceptable, this is my home. I chose to live in East Lake. I've been here for 50 plus years. Please help me. Tell me what I can do. Tell me who I need to talk to. Tell me what needs to happen to enforce that we still live in the single family community that I am proud of as being a part of. And that's why I'm here tonight. And I have talked to several of the neighbors. They unfortunately could not all be here tonight. But if we need be, we will show up and, you know, show that we are concerned. We are concerned for our home values. We are concerned for our sleep. You know, we're concerned the woman next door, her 20-year-old her daughter was home alone all weekend. She was concerned. She texted her mother who was on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. There's police cars here. I don't know what's going on, Mom. So the police were called at the home that night? Yes. Okay. So what's, what can I do? Where can I, well, I think get help? I think you're in the right place. I think we'll, we'll talk to the mayor, we'll talk to the building inspector, our chief building inspector, and we can go out and we can you know, look at the property, look at the meters, if they're visible from your property. Sunday morning, I saw at least six cars. The neighbors told me that there were more like 12 or 15, but I have going out around noonish, so so many of them have left. Yeah, the, I saw the mayor write down the address as I did. I'm sure he'll be in touch with Dave Mann, our building inspector. He'll probably contact you. If you want to wait till after the meeting, you can give your phone number to the mayor uh, and, or to me, and we'll make sure that uh, this is investigated a little more thoroughly for you. Okay, so is it's further it's, action needed on my part? Because I'm the kind of person who never gives up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> so, I mean, just... Point me in the right direction. This is yeah, got to be me in our home. The mayor will talk to you after the meeting. We'll get more information. I'll get your number. I obviously have a judge, but I'll just okay. represent. I'll get your number. Your number. Thank you. We'll talk to you. We'll just have, uh, we'll go for a building official, Dave. So I'll get your number and then I'll have to give you your call. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next person signed up to speak is Richard Schneider. Please step forward, state your name and address. I have no disrespect for anybody, but we had a nightmare on Elm Street uh, Saturday and Friday night. Uh, we have a nun living there, we have a priest living there, and there was 22 people living there in a single family house. All night long, it was chaos in there. Uh, I called the police one night, the second night I had to call twice. The first night I didn't sleep at all. I had to get up to go to work at five o'clock in the morning. And uh, I've had seven heart attacks, I don't need another one. I built the house out of Lake because I love East Lake because Mr. Ted Clammer, which is a friend of mine that passed, you know, and uh, he says, build a house in East Lake, you'll love it. So we did. And we built a beautiful home, and uh, we want to stay there, you know, we don't know what to do here because it was a nightmare. Well, we want you to stay. Okay. And again, if you want to leave your phone number with the mayor and Dave, the building inspector, Dave Men, they'll look into it and they'll get back to us to both of you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. And our next speaker, I'm looking at your address. Is it Gail Linda? Yeah. yeah. Is it the same issue? The same issue about the housing and the rental? What? It's the same thing. Okay. That's my husband that you just have heard from. Okay. I'm Gail in the top. Okay. I lived in Fairport Harbor, and because of Fairport Harbor and the incident that I had 13 years ago, I wanted to move to a safe place. I reviewed East Lake, went up and down the streets, looked around, and found this piece of property in East Lake. This was back in 2006. Decided to build a house. I had a actually take, there was a, a coach house, and I actually had to put a breezeway because they didn't want me running out the coach house. Either that or rip it down. I says, no, I want to keep that coach house because it's built in 1948. Built an eight house, 
put everything together, okay? And I noticed right from the get-go that the neighbors next door, something was going on. You have three gas meters, you have three electric meters. Something is not right there, okay? You'll let it go and you'll let it go because you try to get along with your neighbors. And um, Friday night, um, and by the way, I was the one that was robbed and beaten in Fairport Harbor 13 years ago. Stung, gun, tied up, and left for dead. Yeah, so this is why I moved out of Fairport to move to a safer community. We got wonderful neighbors, but they are single family homes. And I came home early Friday after work and um, noticed a girl walking through my property. And I had my girlfriend on the phone, so I said, just hang on, if something should happen, you know, I'll call the police. So she got down part of my driveway, I said, what are you looking for? She goes, oh, I'm looking at this house. And I'm like, okay, you parked over next door, I advise you to go back over there. So she went back over there, and then I noticed this other gentleman joined her, and um, that was fine, and then 12.30 at night we had to call the police. They're laughing, giggling, carrying on. You want your windows open if it's nice weather and not humid. So uh, we had the windows open, we called the police, they toned it down. I had a confrontation with one of the, the guy out there. He apologized. But in the morning when I woke up, and I got rich enough at 5 o'clock, got him off, and then I fell back to sleep for 45 minutes. I got up. There were like 10 or 12 cars there. So went to work, closed everything up, put the air on, went to work, came home, and uh, no, I went out to dinner because I met him. He was uh, very tired. He stayed at the store for a while to sleep. And uh, came home, and then it started. There were 22, I counted 22 people. In a single family home, you have two bedrooms and one bathroom. And it was all night long. And I told the police, I said, How would you like to live there? Really? You know, you can't. It's like humanly impossible. So somebody has to help us. This was, this was our dream, right. was to have this home and to live in the city. But the dream is like a nightmare. And I did talk to your building director. He's going to try to do this. He said he sent a letter. Well, uh, the owner is uh, David P. Stats. He's out of Akron. He put the house, he put the house, the rental house, which he just went into, let's see, he was a company established February 9th of 2016. Just so you know, I did my homework today. And um, it's in his wife's name. But if they're going to do rentals every week, you know, that's crazy. This is a summer. You enjoy the summer on the lake. This is what we look forward to. Right. I understand. I understand your complaints. As I said, the mayor's aware of them. We'll get the building director, on, building inspector involved, and obviously the police department's already And I did involved. call before, too, and complain about three gas meters, three electric meters. What's going on here? I don't have that. And I was told in the beginning, when I built my house, that you cannot have rental property there. They specifically told me that. I've had a couple friends come up, they'll stay for like a week or so, that's it. Well, this is the first that's been brought to our attention. So again, we will do you know, the work that we have to do to try to get some so we can fix it. Okay. Okay, for you. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Okay, uh, there's nobody else signed up to speak. Is there anybody else wishing to address council this evening? Okay. Seeing none, we'll move on to legislation proposed. <laughs> Will the clerk please read legislation 061401. In ordinance to revise the codified ordinances by adopting current replacement pages and declaring an emergency. Is there a motion to suspend the rule requiring separate readings and readings in full? Yes. Okay, is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Sunik? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Spadman? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Sir? <coughs> Mr. Hakeley? Yay. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Is there a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Kusunik? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Spadman? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Hainley? Yay. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation is adopted. Will the clerk please read 06-1402. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and director of finance to enter into a contract 
with A and J cement contractors, the most reasonable and lowest and best bidder for the base bid for the Ridgewood Drive pavement improvements in the total amount of $569,740 in declaring an emergency. Is there a motion to suspend the rule requiring separate readings and reading full? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hinkley? Yay. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Is there a motion to adopt? Move to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hinkley? Yay. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation is adopted. Will the clerk please read 061403? A resolution granting permission from the City of East Lake to the City of Willoughby to expend funds in an amount of $2,138,185 for the implementation of the WEWPCC Equalization Basin Rehabilitation Sewer Project and declaring an emergency. Is there a motion to suspend the rule requiring separate readings? <coughs> Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hatefleet? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Is there a motion to adopt? Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hatefleet? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation is adopted. Will the clerk please read 061404? A resolution authorizing and granting the Mayor and Director of Finance to file an application with the Lake County Planning Commission for funds through the Competitive Community Development Block Grant Program for the term of October 1st, 2016 through September 30th, 2017 in declaring an emergency. Is there a motion to suspend the rule requiring separate readings and reading full? So moved. Is there a second? Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hatley? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Is there a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Zern? Yes. Mr. Spadden? Yes. Mr. Kasunik? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Evers? Yes. Mr. Hatley? Yes. Mr. Pledge? Yes. Motion carried. Legislation is adopted. Will the clerk please read 061405? An ordinance amending uh, City of East Lake Ordinance Section 1385.99 Penalty and Declaring an Emergency. Okay. This is being placed on first reading this evening. It will be on the agenda for, um, for a second reading at our next meeting. Will the clerk please read 061406? An ordinance amending City of East Lake Ordinance Section 1387.99. Penalty specifically subsection B for declaring an emergency. And again, this will be uh, placed on first reading and it will be uh, second reading at our next meeting. So we can have input from our board inspector. With that, there is no legislation pending, there is no unfinished business, there is no new business. We will move on to administrative reports with the first report being from the Mayor and Safety, Dir Safety Director, Dennis Morley. Thank you, Madam President. Welcome, everyone, to the evening of the meeting. Um, just a few things I have this evening. On June 1st, I was invited to a meeting with the Willoughby Slate Schools to give us an update on the new schools that they'll be building next year, uh, both East Lake North and Longfellow Elementary School. Uh, they showed where the designs are, uh, where they would be on the sites. Both schools will be uh, still being used until the new schools are built. Um, State-of-the-art schools would be like uh, the Innovation School Plus. Uh, they'll both be two-story schools, and uh, construction is supposed to start next year. Uh, if you want any more information, you can go on the Willoughby East Lake Schools um, website, and it has some drawings and things on there. Uh, also, with the bond money that was passed, they were having renovation projects. Uh, so, in East Lake for 2016, it is roof replacement both at East Lake Middle School and Thomas Jefferson Elementary. So, I uh, believe in the future they'll have some more community outreach meetings with Willoughby East Lake Schools, and uh, they'll explain a lot more as the projects uh, begin. We did meet with them in February. Uh, this will be a lot of work for our building department uh, with working with the contractors in the schools and our uh, actually our fire department also and our uh, controller there. Did 
meet with the captains today and Mayor Rogovich and Mayor Mark Allen with Cliff and Willowick to talk about the 4th of July fireworks that will be Monday, uh, July 4th at, Cap at Classic Park. Uh, gates open, will open at 7. Uh, we are going to have some civic groups uh, that want to have tables there. Anyone that wants to have a table, please contact me by June 21st. Uh, so I can work that through with the captains. We continue to work on the catch basins and on the roads. Um, we are trying to, again, keep up with the grass, and lately we've been doing better on that, so it's always a work uh, in progress that can keep control. Um, uh, Tom can discuss anything on the Ridgewood if anyone has any other questions. And that, uh, safety test start this week. Went over there yesterday, and uh, we had a full crowd. We had 60 kids and graduation. I'll be over there on Friday. So looking forward to that. The, uh, uh, the pool's doing a little better this year with the Y running in again. And uh, uh, the kiddie pool, we finally had, we had a couple roadblocks on a bond. Uh, so that should be starting here in the next, uh, hopefully, a couple weeks. And it's a three week project from when they started to the end. So we're hoping to have that in by July. So open for questions and who's my report. Is there anyone from the administration or council with any questions to the mayor? Seeing none, we'll move on. Our fire chief, Chief, chief Ted Whittington, is absent in excuse, so we'll move on to Police Chief Larry. We've had several meetings with um, Lake, Lake County, we've been discussing for a while, the RMC, amongst the police departments, and now we've reached out and been part of some of the planning, <coughs> excuse me, out in Cleveland. We had a meeting with about 120 different officials from Columbus on up. The, uh, the majority of the events that are happening out there will happen out there with their personnel. We're